Hi, this is Ivan and welcome to the channel. Today what I'd like to do is show you how I mounted my Honeycomb Alpha and Bravo to the bottom of my desk. I've received several questions about how did I do this and I'd like to demonstrate that today. Um, there are commercially made versions of what I'm going to show you and they range in cost. I want to say anywhere from $25 to about $100. And what I'm going to show you here today cost me about $22, give or take. It could be cheaper if you have some of this gear already. So let me show you what I did and how it works out. Okay, so what we have here is kind of the, the finished product. And as you can see, I've got these three metal flat pieces of metal. And to show you what that looks like up close... It looks basically like this. This came from Home Depot. And I want to say this was the, you may be able to tell there's two different links here. These two shorter ones for the sides, for the left and right side, and a longer one for the middle. These were about $2.75, $2.75 each. And I want to say this one was $3 or $4. I don't quite remember. And so basically what I did was using a four millimeter drill bit for metal, which I already had. And then a half inch countersink bit, which I did not have. I purchased this from Home Depot. It was $11. I already had the, the drill itself. What I did next was draw a line down the middle of the bar. So if I had, just to kind of show here, take a, a Sharpie, and you're just going to write down using a straight edge. And you can use one of the other bars that you purchased. And just draw a line right down the middle. And then what you're going to do is, using the pre-existing screws that are already in the top of the unit that hold this plastic housing on, you're going to line this up. And again, mark it with a Sharpie or something. And where those two lines cross, that's where you're going to drill. And so what I did was, to, to demonstrate that, I took this piece of metal, put it on a 2 by 4 and then using a drill with this 4 millimeter drill bit, I was able to just drill the holes where I needed. You can see that this already comes with some holes pre-drilled, but none of those work, and none of them are really in the center, and I wanted this to be in the center. So then once the holes are drilled... Then what you want to do is you want to countersink what you've drilled. And I've already done that in advance to demonstrate what that looks like. I don't know if you can see how that hole there, how it, it's wider than this one. This one's not countersunk. This one is countersunk. And it's the same diameter on one side, but on the other side, it's, it's wider. It's almost like uh, uh, the inside of a funnel. And what that does, for those of you who don't know what countersinking is, if I take this screw, and you can see that the screw has kind of angled at the top of it, how it's got an angle to it. If I put it in a hole that's not countersunk, it sticks up quite a bit. And it, it eats away at the amount of thread that's exposed on the other side. And you want to keep as much of this thread as you can because of the thickness of this uh, bar here, you're kind of losing some of that to the bar and you want to minimize that as much as possible. So when you countersink it again, like that, when you put the screw in now, you can see that it's flush and there's more thread that's exposed on the top. So that's what I did for each of the holes that I drilled using the four millimeter drill bit and the half inch countersinking bit. Once I had my holes all marked off on my pieces of metal, I mounted them just like you can see right now. And basically, it's hard to tell because the light's reflecting off this metal, but essentially I've got two screws here and I've got this overhang and that's, I don't know, that's about two or three inches. And then I've got two here and two here. And this piece bridges both. Now I could have made it to where there were two smaller ones on each side, but I wanted to be able to bring this pretty close together and it was just easier to do. So I have two here, two here, two here. 
And what that's going to allow me to do is, let me show you, is I've got the clamps that came with the units. And now what I'm doing is I'm putting it here. And actually more like this. And this round piece is going to go up against the piece of metal. And this top piece here of this C-clamp is going to go against the top of the desk. So I have one here, one here in the middle, which supports the Alpha and the Bravo. And then one here at the, at the other end. And then basically what you're going to do is you're going to tighten that up until it secures the units to the bottom of the desk. So let me show you what that looks like and we'll try to mount this. This should this is much easier if you have a two two people to help out. I'm here by myself today but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount this to the bottom of my desk and we'll see how this works out. Um, again, it's just me and uh, I have to be careful about how you mount this. I don't want to bend anything or apply too much pressure to the top of the, the units. I um, also apologize that the audio is not quite as well as it was because I'm not as close to the mic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift up. You can see I've got the units here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them under the desk. I'm going to use my knee here to kind of hold one. And so that's how it goes up under the desk. But now I've got to put my clamps. So what I'm going to do here is put this first clamp in the middle. And I have to make sure that I'm on the metal bar where I won't hold. And there we go. It supports the weight really well. And I feel like this is a pretty good solution. So that's what I did to mount my Alpha and Bravo honeycomb units under my desktop. Again, you need three of these, two of the shorter ones, one of the longer ones, a four millimeter drill bit and a half inch countersink bit and then a drill and the screws and the C-clamps you use from the honeycomb units themselves. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them down in the comments below and I'll do my very best to answer them. Have a great day.